Hello guys, uh, welcome to my channel. I'm Martin, uh, for you, those of you who haven't been before. Um, today I wanted to hop on quickly um, because I received the coolest parcel through the post last week. Um, and it is the Sacred Symbols Oracle Deck and the Roast Iconic Oracle Deck. And they're both by the amazing Marcella Kroll. So Marcella and the publishers sent me this gift through. Um, I want to show you what I had first. Um, so I had this beautiful candle which smells absolutely stunning. And also a cloth um, which doubles up as a reading cloth. Um, let me just put these on here. Uh, so you can see. Hold on, so that eye is upside down. Right, so there you go. So there's the cloth as well. Um, I have actually, um, well, I did actually get myself a copy of this. So now I've got two copies and it is incredible. This is my own copy. Um, on, on gone. So let me just show you. This was originally an indie deck a few years ago. Um, and now it's been picked up mass market um this is possibly one of the most straightforward oracle decks that i've had the pleasure to use over the years i use it extensively um to pull a card to meditate on the symbols um it's just amazing really um it doesn't really go under any kind of belief system um there's lots of things you know from different kind of you know symbols i should say so like everything is kind of like tied up in everything else and you know when you see a symbol you can automatically you know see what it means or kind of look in the little guidebook um which is absolutely cracking by the way and so basically you've just got like a little kind of text with each card and then a message on the bottom um so you know the symbol is breakthrough for shift um so each symbol is kind of like explained fully they're also very intuitive cards as well um i do actually meditate with the symbols on the deck um so that is one way of using them but they do give absolutely amazing readings as well um so yeah i just wanted to briefly show you these but as i said if you look back in my videos i have already um made a review of these anyway before and the back of the card which is um the high of Horus, um matches the cloth and so let me show you something really really cool now um this is a pre-order now this deck is absolutely fucking everything um there's 30 cards in the deck and it says the roast iconic oracle deck 30 cards for getting wrecked by the universe Need real talk from behind that mainstream deck from from the beyond that mainstream decks don't provide. If you're looking for guidance delivered straight up, the roast iconic oracle deck is for you. Direct and full of salt, these cards will tell you when you're on the right path or when you need to check yourself. Now this is something I would have actually created myself. Um, it's so so cool honestly um i think it's out july and it's published by sterling ethos as well um it really is cool you can do it to use it to begin a reading you know end a reading or if you just want a message for the universe if you want to be called out you know get this deck because honestly it's just amazing so you've got life is short don't take it too seriously don't take yourself too seriously um, and it comes in this really, really cool magnetic box here. Um, and with a little guidebook as well. So, <laughs> right, I thought, well, let me have a look like, at this, this deck before I start using it. Um, now, some of the cards are kind of like, you know, a bit kind of full on. So, you know, if you're a bit easily offended, if you're a bit of a snowflake, I suggest you stop now and um don't watch the rest of it so but some of the cards are really hard hitting like this one for instance um they're all in alphabetical order and they have all got the introduction there directions there um ask the card what do i need to know right now uh absolutely brilliant right so you've got cards like privilege and bitch love and gaslight and let me show you this uh black square one here uh 
Apparently, you are only down for doing the bare minimum during an incredibly significant time to stand up and advocate for human rights. Drawing this card reminds you that your actions need to be not need to not be just performative. They must be based in real knowledge and include follow through both online and in real life. You don't have to be on the front lines, but at this point in history, you can't be silent either. So, you know, there's a lot I could say about this card as well. You know, um, you know, I'm not going to get into all the political things, obviously, but I did notice, you know, a lot, you know, a couple of years ago when everyone was changing the profile pictures to a black square just for the sake of it. And I thought, have you asked yourself why you've done that? And there's a lot of things in this deck as well that are kind of along the same vein there. Um, you know, privilege, hashtag love and light. And, you know, it's just so spot on now for social media. Um, and, you know, we see a lot, don't we? Um, you know, being on sites like Instagram and we see a lot of bullshit. And this deck is one to call out the fucking bullshit. Um, this one, for instance, is very self-explanatory. I could actually have this in badge form or tattooed on me as well. So it's just, I love it so, so much. So let's have a look what Marcella actually says about the Get Fucked card. I'm disgusted with the way you acted. Go away, get lost. So you know what? In one sentence, it sums it all up. Um, snack and we've got podcast blah 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 so let's have a look at podcast they they're not in alphabetical order so you will need to kind of like look through um the little guidebook but because there's only 30 cards you know it's not a deal breaker um it's not going to take your ages saying that it says here you can't find the the podcast card um i just want to have a look what it says to be fair Right, so let me just find this uh, podcast card. There's something on here which really, really... Uh... Do you love the sound of your own voice? Do you believe the world needs to be informed of your nuanced opinion on everything? Could be time you... <laughs> Could be time you got your own show. The masses need your brand of authority right now. How will you wield your power with a microphone in front of you? Draw another card to see whether this direction will have a positive or a negative impact on the world around you. So there you go. Um, one of them on here. Right, now this is a thing. This is the most amazing card in the deck. And this should be... Put up in lights everywhere. Right, so we've got trauma bond. So you can see the heart with a lock and the chains around it. So we have got, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but that person is not your twin flame. Get out while you can. This is a code, this is codependency at its most toxic. You may find comfort in old familiar wounds, but resist the temptation to make connections rooted in things that no longer serve you or support your healing. Now, those of you who know me know exactly what my sentiments are about the whole twin flame nonsense, especially within the new age community. A narcissist, the world in fact does not evolve around you or your precious ego cargo. And then we've got cult leader. Cult leader. Now this is a really good one because some of the people you see on social media, some of the books are that are out there. Um, so you have got cult leader. So you are not a guru, a time lord, or a demigod. You are an egomaniac who needs minions so you can feel like an authority to compensate for your own feelings of inferiority. Grow up. Obviously, I could have added a little bit more on the bottom of there. Um, but yeah, oh, absolutely spot on is that card. Especially the way people are getting sucked into the whole, oh, you buy my course, you will be leveled up on your vibration you buy my book my next book um 
that's not going to work. So we'll, you know, buy the next three that I've got coming out by Hay House or whoever. So this is exactly what I mean. And I think this is a really important card now. Okay, you could look at the deck as very tongue in cheek, but you know, there is a lot of things in here that actually go on on social media, um, which are absolutely bang on for our current times. I have seen so many people um, and had so many DMs that people have like, you know, said like, oh, I've just partied with my money, you know, for this kind of course. And, you know, it's, it's not worked out and stuff. What do I do? You know, that's the sad part of it. It really is sad when you see, you know, things like this happen. So this is all about being discerning and, you know, just because somebody's um, spent six months in India, especially Karen from London, um, does not make them a guru. So, yeah, there you go. So, this is absolutely amazing. You've got Tin Foil Art, which is conspiracy theories. Um, stay in your own lane. Mind your own fucking business. Red flag. Triggered. Now, this is another one. This is a really overused word now. Um, that I'm seeing all on social media, you know. Oh, that's triggering me, that's triggering me. Well, you know what, I'm sorry, but your triggers are not my responsibility. Um, so we've got here, uh, let me find the trigger card. Uh, the, the Fashion Witch is another one as well. Let me, I'll, I'll show you that one. You're igno you've ignored your wounds and issues for too long. Time to seek help or support before you continue the cycle of pain, pain and shame by projecting it onto another. So there you go. Now this fashion witch card, I love because there you go. There's the fashion witch. You can dress the part, but if you claim to be a witch and your practice lacks morality, you, my darling, are not a witch, but just a muggle in chic disguise. So there you go. That's another one that you see, you, you know, you do see a lot on Instagram, you know, all for the aesthetics. And just like that person, that girl in that card there, surrounded by crystals and tarot, and you think, oh really you know say no more about that one and it's just such a cool little deck honestly i mean you know maybe it might not be i don't think you'd be able to give anyone a full reading from this card i mean you could probably possibly come up with other kind of keywords for it as well um but yeah it's a cracking little deck and i absolutely love it um you know, so as I said, this will be out. Uh, it's available for pre-order now. It retails quite cheaply, I think, about £15. Um, so that's not too bad at all, is it, for something like this, you know. To keep in your little box, um, you know, pull one out when you need some honest advice. And so that was just a quick one. And so thank you for watching anyway. And thank you to you, Marcella and union square as well um i'll be back on tuesday evening um with the lovely may from mystic midnight oracle and the wonderful levi as well uh where we'll be chatting to Maeve about a current kickstarter and on wednesday i will be on with the lovely tegan from cosmic creep uh cosmic creeper um so i'm so looking forward to having a catch up with tea and so thanks guys, I hope you're all okay. As I said, it's just a quick one because I'm busy. I just wanted to pop on tonight and show you this little deck. So stay safe. Um, I'll see you all soon. Much love always and take care.